In this video we're having a look at some extra details on settings in elevations and how to represent them uh, for different purposes. One of the things we might want to show is the, the pitch fall of our roof. The way that I do this generally, again, not a fantastically referenced way, is just to draw a couple of lines which are representing the, the roof pitch. This allows it to be um, mirrored and copy pasted, uh, but again it's not referenced, it doesn't update. And then to use the angle dimension tool. When we use the angle dimension tool, all we need to do is click on two lines and that will draw it for us. Depending on where we place this, if we move it too far out, it'll flip around, so that, that's fine, I don't mind that. Or if it's further out, it can look like that. Either way, it's representing okay. All right, one of the issues that we've got uh, on sloping sites, we're either looking down the hill or up the hill. In this case, we're looking up the hill, so we're seeing the mesh in the background, but it's sort of doing some strange things. So. What we've got here in the middle is a, a driveway ramp that goes through the middle of the house and then we see a bit of green beyond and so that looks a bit strange, it doesn't really make sense with what we're seeing. So just like when we're looking into the distance and everything seems a bit more blurry or a little bit uh, less, more, sorry, more washed out, we can create that look in Archicad. For any gamers you might know that as Fog of War. So if we grab the north elevation marker we're going to use in our model display marked distant area. When we turn the marked distant area on, let's have a look at that first, it creates this new line. It's part of the marker and it allows us to adjust where we want to see. Now it's very valuable to understand this in every story. So we've got a, a big gabled roof here, so I don't necessarily need to see all of this gabled roof, but I need to see enough of it before my cutoff so that uh, my roof doesn't look unusual. So if I now leave it like this, let's go back to the north elevation and see how that's looking. So we see that the gable here is now visible, but everything beyond there has basically disappeared. So that's not necessarily what we want to do. It's not actually disappeared, it's just become very white. So let's go back into the settings and see what we can do to, to change those. So we're going to select that north elevation again, go into the settings, down to where it says mark distant area. What do we want to do? So just like above, we have cut elements, uncut elements, and we can choose to show own surfaces or uniform pen color. I don't necessarily want uniform pen color. I could do own surface shaded. I could go uniform pen color for uncut elements and use a gray to represent that. Let's have a look at what that does. So it's making it still colored but it's graying it out. It's adding that fog of war that we're looking for. And like I said, because of this gable, this gable is running through continuously, none of that has been chopped. None of that is showing as gray or in the distance, but everything beyond, so we see that there's a bit of green grass and then it fades. This driveway fades. So that's representing really well in order to show us distance, to show us foreground, middle ground, and background. Now we don't have three separations, we have two, foreground and background, but uh, it, it's clear enough. Now we could move that representation if we wanted to. Uh, I might try to find an example. Let's look at one of these other elevations. Uh, if I go back and do this in this view, we've got the ridge that's over the lounge room is slightly higher than the ridge that is over this master bedroom. So if I go to my floor plan and we have a look at the west elevation and then open this one up, I've currently already got one turned on, I think. Let's have a look. We can see that we've got two ridges. We've got this ridge here, roof ridge, and then we've got this roof ridge here. And again, this one's in the distance. So what we could do is change those settings the same way as we did before, so that we see the mark distant area beyond. We can also do this by picking up the settings, going Alt, picking up the settings of the north, paste, picking up the settings of that one. We're seeing infinitely long 
total, but we have a marked distant area. I'm going to go back up to the roof so I understand this. I don't want my mark distant area to be short of my gable. Let's have a look at what that does and why that's bad. So we can see that we're sort of truncating, we're chopping off the top of our gable. That's not what we want to see. Uh, but this is what we want to see. We want to see this one in the background and this one in the background shown like that. So how do we do it? Let's go back to, we'll do it on the roof story this time. We're going to move this marked distant area so it goes past the main gable. And because it's running past the main gable, we're going to see that unchopped. Let's go back into it. What's this one called? West. So we now see that this is representing as it should. Now this is something uh, that shouldn't be there. That's in a distance. Uh, it's a 3D truss that I made. So I will, instead of having it as... Um, Infinite range, let's change that to limited, and I'll just extend this slightly like that, which is the way it was before. And so now we can't see that truss in the distance, but we can see that the the extra roof, this window, and the extra veranda is now grayed out a little bit. So it looks better in terms of a representation. Now, for construction documentation, is that really what we want to see? Maybe not. Maybe that's uh, even though it's graphically better like this, it's probably not better for construction. But for presentation drawings, again, uh, in terms of drawings for DA, this tends to look better. That's the end of this video. In the next one, we'll have a look at a few extra settings, um, part to do with masking using fills instead of terrain mesh to represent um, the, the ground level, particularly in front of an elevation.